Part two, baby. Let's get it. That's what pays the bills. Right. So they'll have to keep it in a place where it's appealing to advertisers because it's appealing to enough people that actually want to buy their product if they're advertising. Like that's the bottom line of basically the entire internet that you're getting for free. I think I worry about any one person or one political party or one having so much control over one source of communication. I guess I'm just concerned about power being in, you know, one, so much power being in one person's hands. It's usually a bipartisan concern. We hear that from Republicans, we hear that from Democrats. Mark Zuckerberg owns the majority of Facebook. He calls the shots on Facebook. Um, do you trust those guys over Elon Musk? No. 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 <laughs> no. I think Elon Musk is going to uh, let freedom of speech ring more than Facebook does. I think there's going to be a lot less um, blocking. Silencing. You know, keeping things off, letting people say what they really want to say. There's obviously a lot of opposition to this. Why do you think some people are against it? Well, I, I think by some people, there's there's people in this country that feel like they want to control the narrative. And as long as they control the media, they control the narrative. And the one thing that makes us different from other countries is our First Amendment right. You take away the First Amendment, you have nothing. You don't have a United States anymore. And it's a shame to watch this happening the way it is, but most of it seems to be happening from a younger generation. That really doesn't understand socialism, Marxism. They have dreams and, and I would call it fantasies about what life could be like. Uh, but in reality, <coughs> the freedoms that they're taking away from people are actually the freedoms that they're going to want when they lose them. All right, guys, let's take a quick moment to talk about today's sponsor. If there was ever a story that best encapsulates how bad crime has become, it's the one about Starbucks providing their baristas with active shooter training because our cities really aren't safe anymore. And it's while the crazy, Supreme Court man, has made it easier wild. for you to conceal carry for I mean, protection. It's, like, it's not safe anywhere, bro. It's not safe in restaurants, bro. It's not safe. Bro, it's not safe on the train, bro. It's not safe on the bus. It's not safe. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not it's not it's not safe in stores, it's not safe anywhere, bro. It's like it's not safe in schools, like yeah, it's it's crazy, I hate it, yeah, so yeah, you know I mean, people gotta. Yeah, I, mean, I think teachers. I think people should. You know what I mean, that work in, that you know what I mean, that are, that work in stores, restaurants. Like they should be, they should have, they should be allowed to, uh, allowed to protect themselves. You feel me? Like it's it's wicked out here, man. It's crazy the way it is. But most of it seems to be happening from a younger generation that really doesn't understand socialism, Marxism. They have dreams. Like and, a lot of people, they don't, they don't have regard for their own lives. Like, so reality, they're the out here killing people, out here just doing devilish, unrighteous ish, bro. It's crazy. The way it is, but I hear murdering innocent people. Younger like, generation that really doesn't understand oh, socialism, Marxism. They have dreams and, and I would call it fantasies about what life could be like. <laughs> But in reality, the freedoms that they're taking away from people are actually the freedoms that they're going to want when they lose them. All right, you guys, let's take a quick moment to talk about today's sponsor. If there was ever a story that best encapsulates how bad crime has become, it's the one about... Star it's wild here in, in, in my home city of, the, of of Chicago, bro. Like, it's... Yeah, man, it's crazy out here, bro. It's crazy, yo. Yeah, and that that bill they're gonna pass, bro, in twenty twenty three in January, that bill is wild, wild, bro. Like, you know what I mean, kidnappers they're gonna get away with kidnapping and stuff. Like, you know what I mean, yeah, criminal, yeah, it's it's sad out here, bro. Like a lot of people are 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 you know what I mean, are moving out of here. They they're getting up out of here, bro, cause it's it's too it's too man it's too there's too much crime, bro. It's, there's too much violence and criminality. It's, it's, it's crazy, man. Well, are actually the freedoms that they're going to want when they lose them. All right, you guys, let's take a quick moment to talk about today's sponsor. If there was ever a story that best encapsulates how bad crime has become, it's the one about Starbucks providing their baristas with active shooter training because our cities really aren't safe anymore. And while the Supreme Court has made it easier cities, for man. you to conceal carry for protection, it's your responsibility to be properly trained. That is why I endorse iTarget Pro. I actually I actually skip this and get back. Seems like 
Yeah, I'm a lot of it's been about free speech. Do you think that's been a yeah, I'm going to do a part three. I'm going to turn this off and do a part three. Hold up. I'll be back.